I had to do that. See if it changed anything after I gave him the paper. All right. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. All right. It says to go to the post office. Oh, hi, honey. A blind woman is trying to read her mail. Hmm. Blind woman trying to read her mail. Well, you know, it'd be a shame if I just fucking... God damn it. Can't fucking hit her, can I? Shit. <laughs> I just like how the other people guys don't even react. Can I hit you? Oh, fucked him up. Bye. God damn. I'm like the Hulk, dude. I just fucking blew my mom's intestines out. Fucking literally like blew this guy's face off with one punch. What the fuck is up with me, man? I'm just fucking unstoppable. Can't fucking do anything. Alright. Take fucking Boyle's Lodge application. Show him what for. Get the fuck out of my way, Jimmy. Piece of shit. <coughs> <coughs> Right. Talk to Postmaster Boyle. Yes? I need yeah. some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? You can suck my dick. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. How about you fucking make one or I'll fucking kill your ass, bitch? I won't kill you to make a lousy copy, but if you don't make one, it will fucking kill you, bitch. It's not the effort, son. <laughs> it's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and they are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Don't mumble, son. I'm about to fucking mumble in your Next face, bitch. Next time you bitch. post, don't forget the zip code. Yeah, you fucking... I'll forget your fucking Sorry, zip code. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain, nor sleep, nor snow, nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. Oh, I just want to fucking just blow him the fuck away with, like, a fucking punch or something, but I can't do Next it. Next time you post, <laughs> don't forget the zip code. If there's only a way to, like, nullify that fucking thing, it's fucking blow him away. Just fucking, mm, right in the face. Right in the fucking slobber knocker. Just, mm, just, mm, fucking uppercut him. Just take him out to dinner. Just fucking take him out, but I guess not. God, that walk. Alright, let's go to the barber shop. Mr. Pastorelli doesn't respond, not understand English. Let's see who we can off in here. Let's see how the old Hulkster does. See if I can teach him the real meaning of fucking Hulkamania. Hi there, mister. <coughs> Bye there, mister. Hey, how are you guys doing? Great? <coughs> Sounds good. Oh, who are you shaking hands with now? Are you just pinching somebody's invisible nipple? <coughs> That's bad. Oh, what a shame. Well, had a good time. Thanks for the barber cut. <coughs> Alright, so obviously I'm still the fucking Hulkinator. Look at this fucking sheep. Can I fuck this sheep up? Oh, well that wasn't intended. I wonder what happens if I leave after doing that, what the text is. What were you thinking? Attacking- Oh, instantly dead. I find it funny that killing anybody else is instantly dead, but killing that fucking Jimmy kid is just a warning.
All right. Howdy, Steve. Holy shit. Yeah. Howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer, cool in the winter, and it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into wow, some. Wow, this guy's face. I can't get him to understand <clears throat> a word I say. <clears throat> like, did they just tell him to make the most exaggerated faces possible? Steve, aluminum siding can't get a fair shake no more. Started when those firemen came to harvest, filling people's heads with newfangled notions like color coordination and interior design. You can paint aluminum, you know, <clears throat> if you want to. But even so, I can't seem to move it anymore. Not even to a rube like Pastorelli. Thank God for the plumbing. Wait, isn't this Pastorelli? Pastorelli's a rube from way back. Ask Clem what Parsons the fuck is how a rube? he followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. Well, look at I've that face. I've seen the end coming for the aluminum siding game, so I took a mail course and learned <laughs> how to be a plumber. Now, there's a business that never lets up. You'd be surprised what people flush down the toilet. Fuck. Stop funning around now. Look at that face. I've never heard the word rube, no. Stop funning around now. Nice to see you again, Steve. How you doing there, Parsons? Hello there, youngster. The Savior Maley <laughs> I was telling you about? Well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle mm. in the south field. How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wily, Pete. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Awry. Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special-like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. But he thinks it's the be-all, end-all. Installed I've always heard his end-all, be-all, not be-all, end-all. <clears throat> who in tarnation did want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Maybe them aliens, Clem? Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored Don't glass. give a fig. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? Crazy hick, don't know nothing about science. Damn. Told Mr. fucking Ruboff. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot cross-wired it to the fire sprinkler, so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spraying. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. Holy fuck. Well, sir, <laughs> the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want to bag one. You... hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. What? You think you can get one of those at a spot? Right. Me? Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come <gasps> starving. This guy's All expressions, they man. they doodles with zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. 
Now you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. Lay across the void, wondering what lies beyond, all the time not knowing that what awaits them is buckshot. Headshot. Did we ever talk about Pastorelli? I think we did. Pastorelli is a funny sort. No, he didn't. Foreigner, don't you know? He cuts hair pretty good, but he don't know spit about nothing else. You just ask him to hook up an alarm system if you need convincing. Something about the alarm system when we're telling Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, <laughs> all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electric. Oh, I know where he did that. All right. Let's tell him fuck. We gotta do the fuck trick. Dang it, the folly is. Oh, fuck you then, Steve. Anytime, Steve. Fuck you. He's on the alien head. All right. Well, I guess that's all we needed to do. <clears throat> Holy crap, this game's got a lot of shit in it. General store. Talk to the owner. Now, I already fucking blew them away, so that's all right. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gene Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. Damn, up I'm your ass, bitch. I'm a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. Merry Christmas Holy from shit. Julian, Gars 50. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head well, is a good fuck. thing for amnesia. <laughs> In which case, I'd That's a little bit the there. Lady. God damn, man. I hope you don't then need again, that. That's like a really oddly specific amount. That 86.19, I'm I'd thinking that's you like to visit the your savings or something. I hope it's life. not. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Well, God damn, Gars. Thanks for know. that. My so-called mother keeps him I have no idea what the hell the game just said now, but that's okay. Care to buy anything today? But yeah, man, a fucking... <clears throat> oh, it's $100 Canadian. Okay, I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> well, that makes me feel a bit better. That's not like your savings or something like that. <clears throat> well, thanks. Damn. That'll definitely help me out. I just, uh... I got owned real badly when I got sick, um, about a week or two ago. And fucking all the money I blew on, like, um, medicine... And all the food I had to get specialty food and stuff like that. And all the food of mine that went bad because I couldn't eat solid food for like three or four days. Fucking, that knocked me out about a hundred bucks. So that basically like sets that back. So thanks a lot for that shit. <clears throat> I wish I really got emotional over this stuff though. Because it's like, you guys got to know that any amount of like donating stuff to me really does help. And it does mean a lot. I'm just not a person that gets really emotional and flips shit about it because it does mean a lot but I'm usually really into the game I'm playing to like you get what I mean like I'm like immersed in the game so it's not that it doesn't mean anything because I'm not like oh Jesus let me get up and like fucking do a dance and like shave my head but yeah it does it does really help a lot trust me it helps me a very 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 lot <laughs> Desmond, here, oh, take my life savings, Kappa. Well, yeah, I thought Canadian dollars were pretty much the same as American. I didn't know there was that big of a deficit. That's like almost a $20. You're almost losing like uh, 20 cents to a fucking uh, dollar there in Canadian. I didn't know it was that far of a drop. <clears throat> GG, though, Lion Green. Alright, I don't know what we're even answering. Uh... No. Okay, dear. You check back if you decide there's anything you want. I'll be happy to help you. Come back soon. I wish you could do that thing Man vs. Game does where he has like the echo go off and he like goes ape shit about like people donating, but I don't know how the hell he sets that up. <laughs> Succulux. Alright, I need to find out. Hello, Steve. Care to buy about <clears throat> Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Oh, Gars, I remember that too. I fucking appreciate that also. Well, I can understand that in Japan because it's like Japan got fucking annihilated by a goddamn, like, 
nuclear disaster, but I'm pretty sure Canada hasn't had any major economical fallouts that I've known about at least. Um, I guess I have to notice the copier machine. Where the fuck's it at? Oh, I guess this is it. Well, bitch, I want to no. fucking... Can yes. Just point. This. What the fuck? Do I need to literally punch it? <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying... Wait. No, if it's 120 into a dollar... That means that I get 120 yen for each dollar. Meaning that the Japanese money is worth less because I'm getting more money if I convert American dollars into yen. An equal transaction would be 100 yen to a dollar. So if it's got 120 yen to a dollar, then Japan's losing out. If Japan had like 80 cents to a dollar, then Japan would be in financial better straits. <laughs> Also, I don't fucking get Steve. what the hell I'm supposed to be fucking doing. Just I'm pointing at it. Fuck. Hello, Steve. Just point to. I want this bitch? Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I had about a week or two ago, Jamin. Yeah, it does take a cut of the conversion, but that's still negligible. I mean. So does anybody know what the hell I'm supposed to do Just here? Just point to whatever you want. Because I can't fucking, like... She's telling me to point to whatever I want. <laughs> oh, I have to actually take it from my inventory. Okay. A girly magazine? Why, Steve, I'm surprised at you. I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Darned if I'd sell him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. Well, will you sell me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Damn, look at that look on her face. Stares She's like, him I want to give you some girly magazine. <laughs> oh, sure, he gave it to me. <clears throat> Hello, Steve. Care to buy... So I guess that's it. Just point to what. Well, that didn't work. Let's give it to her. That's nice, dear. Hello, Steve. Bitch. Okay, come back. Where else do I have my inventory? A pin. All right. That's great. Okay, we get the fuck out. <laughs> Potsdam residence. Uh, where is the Potsdam residence at? Oh, wait. What? 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 Alright, let's go in. Oh, there's Mr. Potsdam. Well,. We're gonna have to have a little time here with Mr. Potsdam. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse even is. What's up, Potsdam? Uh, 
Oh, I had to do this. You ready, son? You ready to get fucked up? <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Blew him away! <laughs> what were you think? Blew him away. Damn. What is up with him, dude? Like, does he seriously have, like, superhuman strength? Like, I mean, you cannot... You cannot gore somebody's head to explode into a million bits with your fist. I mean, I'm sorry, you just can't do that. <clears throat> oh, hi, honey. Oh, you got fucking lucky. You got to live another three seconds. Oh, okay. You ready? You ready? Oh, oh put my face, put my fist straight through her fucking head. Just right through her head. <clears throat> Like, I just don't get it, man. Hobo, oh, well, I'm 100% positive. You cannot literally atomize a guy's head. Like, I didn't even knock his head off. It just atomized. It just shattered it into atoms. <clears throat> yeah, what happens if you do turn Gore off and that happens? Does he just, like... What happens? Up well, that worked. That's certainly gore off. <clears throat> right, I'm saying you can punch a head off, you can't atomize it. Maybe I had to like load the game. Let's see what happens there. <clears throat> nope. Well, we can see gore off obviously doesn't work. <laughs> all right, let's talk to all pots in. Finish him. Wow, that was weird how the text like animated. <clears throat> there he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Pottstown household, huh? Huh? I've lost my memory. <laughs> what a car. What a car. Would I kid about something like that? Why won't you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Your mother just telephoned us about your latest shenanigans. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? Why is that fucking audio? Sure did, Mr. Potsdam. You little rascal. Imagination's a swell thing to have in small amounts. Man needs to keep his feet on the ground, especially if he's getting married. <laughs> Tell me. Is your father feeling better? Is he going back to the slaughterhouse anytime soon? The only thing you could do is punch people right in the middle of this. Alright, what the fuck? So it's in the game. And just a non-stop sound of static. If it is- Fuck, I can't pick anything. I can't imagine a better job than working in a slaughterhouse. Bite your tongue with that serpent's tooth. <sighs> your dad's slaughterhouse is the most successful business in Harvest. You'll love it there. Oh. oh, sure. Cutting animals open may not be much fun. Reaching into their bodies and yanking out the bloody guts, intestines dangling and slapping against you. The smell of death and shit in your nostrils all the time. Well, those are all definite cons. But what's your done? The guts have been washed into the gutters. The fuck was that? What you left with? Meat. Rows and rows of scrumptious red meat. Okay, let's do that again. I can't imagine. Oh, sure. Cutting animals open may not be much fun. <laughs> Reaching into their bodies and yanking out the bloody guts, intestines dangling and slapping against you, the smell of death and shit in your nostrils all the time. Well, those are all definite cons. But what you're done. The guts have been washed into the gutters. What you okay, so that was definitely not my Meat. microphone. <laughs> 
Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <clears throat> kind of makes up for not getting into the lodge. Well, don't look at me. Mrs. Potsdam wants Stephanie to study hard for her finals. If it was up to me, you could go straight upstairs, but you know, <laughs> the little woman, you'll have to ask her permission to see Stephanie. Oh, I'll ask her permission. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. Not with the meat at stake. You will remind your dad about the meat. Won't you? I haven't seen my father. He's locked in a room. Oh, well, this is actually on I the hear game. Moaning. Like, I muted the game and it went away. But that's all. He's not going to die, is Holy he? shit. Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Yeah, fine. <laughs> if I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? Look at this guy's face. I guess as his son, you'd take over. Right? <laughs> Mrs. Potsdam Gray. Sorry, Steve. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor, since I'm not a member of the lodge. I'm sorry I'm not really saying much on this. I'm just actually into, like, Mr. what the hell they're saying here. Is okay. And your father is going to cater the affair with plenty of meat. Moynihan is the undertaker. He also runs the Wayward Hotel. Since he's providing the space for the wedding, you might stop by and say hello to him, just to be sociable. But whatever you do, be sure to say hi to your father for me. Will you do that? Tell him hi, and remind him of the meat. Wait a second. <laughs> Tell me what Morning. God damn, I didn't mean to do that. No, fuck off. If it isn't Stop my Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? There's wonders inside. I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do with. Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. No, well, fuck you then. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? No, bitch! Honestly, you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same kind of dress. Same pearls. So bizarre. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. can be counted on to do her share. Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her husband at all times. What's wrong with wearing pearls, for heaven's sake? Nothing, but you look like June Cleaver. Some kind of sitcom mom. I do sitcom? that too. Jeez. <laughs> a situation comedy. The weird part is, I can't remember how I know that. 
I'm much too busy with housework to watch TV. Maybe Mr. Potsdam would know about sitcoms. Stephanie doesn't watch TV, though. She's grounded. Mr. Potsdam feels there's too much at stake to allow Stephanie to run around loose. She doesn't want to get married either, huh? Are you saying you don't want to marry my daughter? What? I don't know mm. your daughter, Mrs. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No. She's as delighted as we are about the wedding. Every bit as delighted as we are. But she might get hit by a car or a falling piano or who knows what. Mr. Poston wants us all to be one happy family. And he doesn't want to risk anything happening at the last minute. Can I see Stephanie? I don't see any reason why not. Well, fuck you then, bitch. I was about to ask you, Gars, how you could not know what sitcom meant, and then you said French is your first language, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense why you wouldn't know that. <clears throat> you mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. This no matter fucking how audio. many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though, so keep your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge, you and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love rather than over at Moynihan's place. What can you tell me about the lodge? Just that they're exclusive and secretive. If you're curious, you ought to pick up a large yeah, application at the post office and <laughs> get over to the sergeant at arms. Isn't that a thought? Forget Mr. Potsdam. Yeah, you if have sitcom, you a which is a situational order, comedy. And then you have rom-com, which is a romantic comedy. My, wouldn't that be lovely? Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks. Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Say what? Now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's nowhere else to hold it. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks funeral parlor. It's rumored he has connections with the lodge, but the order keeps that kind of thing secret. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his lodge application, but so far... Omelette du fromage. Give my regards to your parents. <coughs> Just, mm, right to the moon, Alice. Right to the fucking moon. All right, let's save this in case we fuck anything else up. All right. I'm gonna do from Mars, bitch. Mm. <laughs> if it isn't my. You know my favorite kind of meat is. Well. It comes from apes who are funny and play games for their viewers online. Well. Stop mumbling, Steve. Stop m Meat is the found Stop mumbling, Stop. Steve. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Wait. It said enter the first room on the right. Okay. Enter the first room on the right. Move the picture on the wall. Wow, GG. I thought she was on her bed fully clothed. Like literally just a minute ago. <laughs> I'm going to guess it shows the exact same thing. No, I thought it just... It just plays the video over, that's stupid. 
She's pretty. Uh, open the medicine cabinet. Get aspirin. Cough medicine. Oral lube. Cough medicine. <laughs> I guess I can just take whatever I want. This should be it. Tampons. Jar volume. Try the sink and closet if you want. Um. Make sure I got everything. Tampon, shower, don't Okay. <laughs> Examine the sink. Toothpaste, pubic hair, and snot. Kind of wondering how the hell you could get uh, pubic hair in there, but okay. Um. The sink in the closet. There's a closet in here. What the fuck? <coughs> Oh, that's the closet. Okay. I actually want to try something really quick. Well, that didn't work. Can't say I'm much interested in that. Fuck you. Unless I have the mic, get something trolley. Man. Yes, yes, very nice. But do you have any meat? Wow. Yes, yep. All right, fuck you then. Well, that didn't work. Can't say I'm. Oh, then you're just a bitch. 